Hey guys, how are we? And I hope everyone is well. A little bit of an unusual place to start today's vlog. Um, I am at Luton Airport. I've been in England for a couple of days now, um, but I'm heading back to Ibiza. And um, it's Saturday night when I land. It's going to be around about midnight. And I thought at the start of this vlog, we would check out what the taxi situation is when we land at the airport. It's been getting a bit of a bad rep lately for long queues. Um, really difficult to do so uh, yeah let's see how it is when we arrive back in hopefully what will be a warmer Ibiza. Okay, back in Ibiza, through the airport fairly quickly, and because it was a flight from the UK, they are still checking for the COVID passports. Okay, let's have a look at the taxi queue. And it does seem pretty calm and quiet here at the airport, but yeah, there's hardly any taxis and there's quite a long taxi queue, so I think it's gonna be a while. Hola. Hola, buenas. Solo. Sí, solo, solo yo. Okay, I'm on my way down to Ibiza town from San Antonio and this time of the year it takes a lot longer than usual because of the traffic. I still don't think it's the same as being in gridlock in one of the, the big cities but all the same for Ibiza this time of year the roads are very slow. This area that we're driving down now is um, one of Ibiza town's three marinas. This is Marina Ibiza. We're just coming up to the casino on the left hand side now and the Ibiza Grand Hotel. At the end of that road you also have Pasha. Super nice apartments down here, very expensive. Of course because you're only a few meters walk from the marina and the big boats. And then we're heading to the far end to the next marina, Marina Butterfuck. And check out these apartments just to the left. Super colourful, balconies, blue, yellow, purple, lots of plants, pretty cool. This area of the marina, or the port as I would say, is the more industrial part. You have the, the big ferries that come and go to the mainland there, and then this is also the cruise ship terminal, and um, cruising is becoming very popular here in Ibiza. You can see lots of construction going on. But today I'm heading a little bit further this way and because we have a catamaran charter. Catamaran, it's a pre-wedding catamaran charter. Uh, 60 people, so I'm gonna make my way there and the guys should be arriving in about 20 minutes. There we go, incoming flight arrival. And then also here you can see the smaller boats which come from that side of the marina over to this side. So if you do come on a cruise ship, you can just get off, hop on the boats here, and it takes you right across to um, the other areas of Ibiza town. And there you can see the catamaran, um, which the guests are heading out on today. They're gonna be heading over to Formentera. Um, it's a five hour charter. They have all the drinks included, beer, wine, sangria, soft, and then also they have an onboard barbecue today. So it should be a pretty fun day. Okay, they are away, that's one hour later than expected, but sometimes these things happen in Ibiza, especially with the larger groups. 
Unfortunately, I'm not going out with them today. I would like nothing more than to go to Formentera, but I've got to head back across to San Antonio. But while I was over here, I just wanted to show you the other side of the marina wall. It's more pretty, and it's the Bay of Talamanca. A little bit of rock climbing involved, but look at this. If you are thinking of coming out to Ibiza and um, going out on a boat, which is highly recommended, please do give me a shout. Um, obviously, not all boats are that size. We have small boats, medium size, um, all budgets as well catered for. So it's one of the best things you can do while you're here. Highly recommended. Just give me a shout and I will do my best to help. Okay, off we go now, back to San Antonio. Before I head back to the office and tackle the emails, I'm just gonna stop for some lunch. There's a parking spot outside. I've been to this place many times in vlogs before. Um, it's Cool Cafe in the Bay. You have to check it out if you're here. I'll put the location in the description below. Um, they have amazing plates of the day. Um, in particular, I mentioned this place because I have a good friend who always watches these vlogs and last week he was over here. And joking, I always tell him about the stroganoff that you have to try here and they've never had any available. So Rob, I hope you're watching. And even more so, I hope we've got the stroganoff. Sorry Rob, the stroganoff was there today, but not only do they have a stroganoff, but for me it's one of the best places in the bay for tostadas for your breakfast, takeaway sandwiches for the beach, they have cakes, afternoon tea, uh, plates of the day, Plato del Dias from seven euros. Uh, it's open from super early, about six o'clock in the morning, right the way through till one, two o'clock. So yeah, cool cafe, check it out if you're in this area. For the final section of the vlog, um, I've had quite a few inquiries, a few requests from uh, you guys to see one of the villas or the insides of one of the villas. Uh, so that is what I plan to do here. Also, over the last few weeks, I've seen some of uh, you guys who watch these vlogs. Uh, you've come to say hello, so that's been very good and interesting. So thank you for subscribing to the channel and watching these vlogs. If you haven't subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button as it does help the channel grow. Uh, the next stop is 5,000 subscribers. Uh, we've got a long way to go, but we're at about 3,200 now. So thank you very much for that. Okay, guys, let's crack on with this tour. This is Villa Carvey. Let's see if we can do a walkthrough. Obviously, here is the pool area. and um, We have guests come in, arriving tomorrow, so it's 90% finished. Just prepping the last few things. But here you have a fantastic garden area. The gardener is coming tomorrow. Here's the house itself. Over there you have the pool. So this house is located in San Antonio Bay and it can sleep 10 people. It's in a great location, you don't need a car for it. You can walk down into the bay, close to the amenities, the restaurants, the bars, the cafes, are right on your doorstep. Here we have a great outside table where the guests enjoy. Views over to the garden. And then now we will go in through the back door. Here we have the kitchen area, dining area leading to the kitchen. I will take you this way. Here is the main entrance. Let's go back in through that way. It leads you to the lounge. Very spacious, you have all the TV satellite over there. Comfy sofa. And then this one is popular because you have a pool table inside. Now on the downstairs level, we have um, a twin room here. This has a bathroom or shower room. And we go back in through the kitchen and then you go up the stairs. Then on this level, we have two twin bedrooms that are identical to each other and they each have their own balcony as well. Tomorrow we have a family coming and they're staying here for two weeks. Across to the other room, identical, another balcony. And then a quick look, just another shower room there. Head on upstairs and here we have uh, the master area, the master suite. Two beds not yet made up. They're gonna be finished off tomorrow. But then here we have the master room. Large king size bed, king size bed, yeah. 
And then out there, you also have your own um, private balcony and rooftop terrace area. So it's quite a large, spacious villa. And as I say, it's close to the amenities. Very popular, always gets booked up this one because you don't need a car to uh, stay here. That's me done. It's Friday evening, just before eight o'clock. So I'm gonna have a quick beer in a favorite place called La Kiki Cafe. I'm sure some of you know where that is. It's just situated in San Antonio Bay, overlooking the Hawaii beach. It's a great spot for watching the sunset. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching as always. Please do hit the like button and let me know in the comments box below any thoughts, any questions that you have about Bitha. Cheers guys, have a great weekend and see you on the next vlog.